Burkamp was the same. Like I played against Thierry and Burkamp. Burkamp I used to find harder because you used to ask me mad on. questions. Yeah. Thierry was the better player. You hear that Twitter, but you Thierry, pussies. Uh, Two weeks ago, we had the best player we've ever had on Filthy. Today, we got the best player we've ever had on Filthy. Best centre-back in Premier League history for my money. It's not just a breading thing. We've done the list. You're We've done brother. the list. We did a whole episode. We counted You're a brother. Because if he wasn't here, you wouldn't be saying that. If he wasn't here, you wouldn't be saying that, we man. Did, we, there's a whole huh? episode dedicated to the best centre-back of all time. Hashtag Rio ad. Ferdinand was number one Have you messaged on him and told him that? I don't message people random stuff like that, no. Did you? I would, yeah, of course. Of course, that's, that's my family there. What are you yeah. talking about? Why is it your family? Not yourself, man. Why is it your family? Well, I was with his brother in Jamaica years ago, before I knew you lot. And we have the same name. And that's facts. Ferdinand, first name, surname. So there's some sort of link. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why not? There's no rules, though. But he is normal, though. Because when, when he went to the toilet, I went in after him and he pissed the seat, so. We <laughs> 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 You're the same as us, my bro. Wait, 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 wait. Which, which part of the toilet did I piss on? The, uh, the toilet seat. Yeah, the toilet seat. On the left. No, the toilet seat yeah. or the toilet frame bit? The toilet frame bit. Oh, but I didn't put the seat up. I put the seat down, so you're lying. It was, I, I followed you into the toilet, Rio. You're lying. You're lying. I went, I, the toilet on the right. No, left. Oi. So I'm saying, man, shouting rubbish. <laughs> yeah, you're moving like skits right now. I tried to follow you, it was lippy. Anyway? It was lippy. Yeah, it's really it's even normal. communal Wait. toilets in there as well. Oh, so single thing. Following man into the disabled toilet. You got, yeah, of course you mean. It's the best centre back in the Premier League ever. You got to do that, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah. Did you message him that? Huh? Yeah, of course I messaged him Who that. Who did you say? Who do you reckon's the best? Of course it's you. Okay. You and second's Ledley King. Because Ledley I King? Yeah, I swear, I saw Ledley this, King. You might as well put this stand in there as well. What? No. Yeah. What are you talking about? So this stand was a player, though. Huh? I think he scored the most own goals. No, that was Richard Dunn. Well, you played with Richard Dunn. Mm. Yeah. What? Was he good? Yeah, he was good, man. He was good. Solid, <laughs> solid player, solid. I'm convinced. Why did? I, why do I think he was bad then? He wasn't bad. No, if someone scores own goals, you'd automatically think they're shit, innit? Yeah, and he's got a record, innit? Like, he, he has, yeah. he has got a record. Is it him, Frank Sinclair? Rio, what's your best ever own goal? Mm, Portsmouth, I think. But it weren't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the toilet seat, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, yeah? I was, I was, Portsmouth away, it was a hard game as well. And I've, I've turned and went to play it back from about 25 yards out. I played it blind though, which was my mistake. Edwin van der Sar's out of the box making an angle over there and the ball's gone in. And like, I remember at that, yeah. I remember this. He passed it into the goal. Was Canu oh, playing? Yeah, I don't know if Canu was playing. That's a stinker. Yeah, them, them, them guys. That's a stinker though. <laughs> so I was saying to, 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 to Edwin, where, the, where are you going? Because the key thing is, you've got to watch that process. You've got to watch the ball slowly going in. Well, you're in the top 10 most owned goals in the Premier League. Oh, oh, me? Gosh. Go on, what's, five. what's the other five. game? What's the other games then? Oh, we're looking at them. Hold on. No, but you've only played about a lot of games, so it makes sense, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't even remember these goals. Go on. Of course you're going to forget the own goals. <laughs> you only remember the good things in life. Trust me, it must be one night stands I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. The only ones coming up right now are the one against Portsmouth. Oh, what? So Google's lying. Own goal for Leeds against Liverpool, Elland Road. Huh? At home? Oh, that's that must have just hit me and gone in. It weren't like a, a mad one. Deflection, innit? Oh, yeah. See like, what I'm saying? That's that that a, Google's lying. That's, that's, yeah, that's that is rubbish, saying. man. You, they should have put that on Ricochet, bruv. They should, why are they putting it on you? Man said Ricochet. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a centre back called Ricochet. I thought it was a wrestler. Yeah, it's not giving me much more data than that. That was a quick search. Boo, Google. There man. is a website that will tell you what it is. But, you know, five, five own goals in 504 appearances. That's not bad. Good return. Sure, right. One in a hundred. One every hundred. Oh, yeah, every take three it, seasons, yeah, the centre-back scores an own goal. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Not that bad, no. Where do we start with, man? Well, yeah, that's the thing. Because um, this is a guy who has won the Champions League, multiple Premier Leagues. Um, Barcelona right now, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, they're going through what Leeds United went through in 2000, just as River and then jumped ship. Got money laundering. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, out, mate. what you think I'm gonna stay through that? Damn, no by him, man. I, I save leads. 100. percent You delayed. You delayed it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the head. That's the headline. Did you know it was coming? Yeah. Really? So I, I knew um, through my agent at the time. He was close to the. Um, you know Philip Green, who owns Topshop. He, the, the CEO at the time, I forget his name, used to work for Peter Green, and. He'd been telling my agent, listen, the club's in big trouble, bigger than it's being reported, blah, blah, blah. And 
they have to let Rio go. Like Rio's the biggest asset they've got. They got if he doesn't go, the club folds. And so I knew that. And at the same time, Man United want me. So like Nicky, but all the guys in, in England squad are going read. The, the manager, he, he really likes you. Needed you as well, by the way. Like, yeah, they had just one at the time. Needed you know you. Yeah, so stammered gone. I knew that I wanted to go. As soon as I heard that, I wanted to go. And I wanted to win. So when I went in his office and told <laughs> him I want to go and just sat there and just said, listen, I'm off. He was going, no, 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 you, you don't need to go. Blah, blah. Terry Venables even called me and said to me, Rio, we're going to invest next season. I'm thinking, you're lying, bro. Don't lie. And you were fifth that year as well. Terry right? lied. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, they were, so they were all trying to say, this, you're going to stay because we've got money, ain't desperate. Blah, blah. But I knew. You said you knew? Yeah, I knew 100%. Is they that when you knew you was going to do the white suit thing as well? Yeah, of course. <laughs> have, you, have you seen that? You, you know, I should have bought that today. Why don't you tell me? Because <laughs> <laughs> you already dispelled all the stupidness. <laughs> Real, the suit is bad, I laid bro. that out on the bed. This boy. is the second time you got you got onto Rio's clothes today, by the way. I know. Huh? I know. Oh no, he's got the coldest pair of shorts on <laughs> I've ever really seen. They, now they're cold. The shorts are different level yeah, shorts. I right, stay out of this. Stay out of this. <laughs> stay, stay out of this. Stay out of this, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wear your uh, best clothes to filthy. What but are you doing? Best I'm just saying though, you what you're wearing is not good today. It's not good. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not here don't to impress you. Don't do that again. I'm not so here to time. impress you. You and Marks can't be. You lot can't be doing talking close why, conversation. Why, why, why? Bro, I see you when when you where was you wearing that shirt? Where, where did you go when you and Loons were wearing the suit? Oh my god! You had a bad, you had a bad <laughs> day. Show me, show me, the jacket, the John. Show me, please, because my man is the normal behavior suit, huh? When he wears when he when he wears formal attire, how can like he don't look good in formal attire? All right, whatever. I look great in formal attire. No, you don't, bro. Especially because you're bald. It, 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 You've it got a polar neck on and a t-shirt, bro. <laughs> Are you fucking cold or what? <laughs> so what, you want the material? You took the material from your arms and put it on your neck. What's man talking about? <laughs> Brad. Hey. I've never seen a short well, sleeve turtleneck. You don't know. You don't know fashion. I ain't seen a short sleeve turtleneck in my life. Bro, this is this is recommended for. This is recommended by Got Kwan. Got. I speak to God when I'm getting dressed. I speak to people like Got Kwan. Who are you speaking to? Got. I know that's a Got Kwan. That is a Got Kwan. That's a Got Kwan. That is a Got Kwan. Huh? This is our table. What's up, bro? Why are you talking to me? Because I'm on your. This is our table, bro. Why Come are you talking on, bro. to me. Get changed. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro, let me show you something. Why do you think Rio's here? Rio broke. I called Rio to come today. You know. Did you? Yes, I did, bro. I know Rio. Bro, you, you know who, who's the biggest name you got in your phone book? Don't even answer that. Let's talk about Who's the biggest name I've got in my phone book? How do we get from close to Mickey here? Richards. Huh? Mickey Richards. Has he got 500 league games? No. <laughs> All right. Has then. he real? Has he? <laughs> no, no. No, he bro. No, he hasn't. No, no bro. No, no, he he no. Nick, no bro. Including school games, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mick is, trust me, Mick has got, he's got it, man. When uh, Rio signed for Man United, there's something you noticed about Rio the day he signed for Man United. You bring it up a lot. What, situation? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a situation. Um, blonde hair. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a roast, isn't it? I just realised. I just realised what I have to get myself in for. It's not safe. Their research not safe. has been done. <laughs> <laughs> no, he talks about your oh, hair. Yeah. But them times, prime time. Yeah, of course. Cleaned up. I loved it. Now, I, he was on fire. That yeah. was like some John Travolta shit. Like oh, yeah. Some you lot are lying. The only other man with that hair was Cisco. What are we doing here? Let's not pretend that was Cisco cleaned up. Cisco cleaned up. Fong song. Bro, trust me. I saw oh, bear man, bear man in Iron Apple with that trim. Bear man in Iron Apple. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. that one was guy. Anywhere yeah. you go, you see Bama. No, and, and, and the Gallus, Neutrino, Neutrino, Neutrino. 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 Eve, Eve, Eminem, Eve, Eve. 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 Do you know what? Eminem. My bad, my bad. There's some big names in that. My yeah. bad. Trust me, I know. I tried, to, I tried to get up. My, yeah, my parents wanted it. it as well. I think Bex had it. Yeah, Bex, yeah. Stan 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 you're one of the best in the world in your position. You can do that. Van Hoy Donk, remember him? Van, Van Hoy Donk. He, but, he was a rude boy. He's yeah. someplace. Emil Heskey had it in Napa. Emil Heskey. Emil Heskey had that. He like a pint of Guinness. He's not allowed to have that. Shout out Emil Heskey. Heskey never had the. That's a Guinness. You look like a Guinness for real, innit? No, I swear it down, he did. Nah, that's, yeah, that's... You know what's bad? My, my championship manager at that time I had you as a DM, you know? Yeah. yeah. West Ham, West Ham centre-back DM. Yeah. 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 Well, you think you could have played yeah. DM, yeah? You yeah. played yeah. DM. I played there for United a couple yeah. of times. That's what I'm saying. If you don't check your mirrors, but you weren't you born them times. Wolves, then. Wolves away. Yeah. Wolves away. Retired.
You can play there though if you need you to. You could play. I, I saw his first games there. He played. Do you know the man managed to Declan Rice? Yeah, he grew up as a centre back. Yeah, he gets in the first team at West Ham. I went and watched West Ham Man City uh, when he first got in, and I remember the owner was saying, oh, uh, he's a young lad, but oh, I'm not sure he's a." Now my man's saying he's worth 150 million, mm. but he's obviously changed. But it's down to Declan training, application, like desire and stuff. He's made himself this player. But he's, I don't think uh, centre back. He wouldn't be the player, the same caliber of player he's as a CDM. I don't think. There's a lot of people that do. They see him as a centre back. But if you watch him play DM, you just think, why would you even yeah, no sacrifice need. that? No, but all yeah, the cold, that's... all the cold DMs that can play centre back are like that. They're silky. You get me? They can, they, they can do it. You know what I'm trying to say? You can send them there, and it's not a problem. But that's like saying, oh, let's play Trent Alexander in centre midfield. He could, he could play. Well, why? Is the, he's one yeah. of the best playing right back. Why are you going to change him? Why does everyone keep saying that? What to play him centre midfield? Yeah, Gary just because of his passing ability and that. Just yeah, but it takes away like the, the, the different diet. angles, brother. It's yeah. different angles. You get me? Different yeah. angles. Did he play there as a youngster, like for like, under yeah, 16 something? Yeah, oh, fair enough. As a kid, actually, Cole played up front. But I think what Trent's done now, Man United, L- Lissandro Martinez. You look at that cross field ball. It's almost like teams are trying to find that the Jacques Cancelo, the the get on the ball, find space overload that side and then let that ball go across the pitch. Like, why would you make Trent a centre midfielder when he's changed right backs? That, that ball is disgusting, by the way. Ball is time. Time. It is very disgusting. How can it always happen? On, the, you still on can't a do nothing sunny like day as well, yeah? It's the left and you're like this, fuck. yeah? <laughs> Bro, you can't do nothing. Diaz, it was Mane, now it's Diaz. Like, you can't. Because if you go stop, tight, bro. he can yeah. jinky me jinky. Yeah. If you go too late, he's going to touch it past yeah. you and leave you. Well, you can't do nothing. And when it, that outballs Van Dyke as well, like, oh, yeah, like different. Beckham's way, he was nasty at that. Beckham's crossed to Ronaldo in one Real Madrid game where he's curved it round. It's the most ridiculous pass I've seen in my life. I think Ronaldo stretches out to finish it. Yeah. Beckham on this passing thing, levels. On the move, on the run from the right and cross, there's no one, I've never seen anyone better. There's no yes. one better, no, no. On the, on the run at full, full pace and then cross, what Man, was his strikers ain't breaking <laughs> about 32 bro. nah cause cause when people talk about Beckham Overdraft. they talk about like uh, there's like a trend in this country to say he was overrated he gets he, disrespected as a football if you remember he, he, was, mm. he was that good and effective but when I picture him I can't picture I've pace. only seen two players finish the bleep test what what is it Beckham's one of them who's the other one Yorkie Dwight York after four nights out Dwight York <laughs> Dwight York after four nights out everyone says, I look, everyone says I look like him as well you got the same eyes as him still Say now the trim, the trim just saying. Nah, you can't. Little, 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 little waves, for real. Yeah, that's... Uh, say that, say that, say that. Say that. <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> what did he say? He, he, <laughs> <I> <laughs> trim too. Take off your do, uh, take off no, your thing, you're talking trim too. That is nothing about your trim. Like York here, bleep test, flipping hell. No, they finished the bleep test, bro. See, every man was just out and these two were still going. Yeah, but fitness and speed is two different it's things. True. It's true, long distance. But when he played in midfield, and he back and did play in midfield, played in midfield for England, like, he was an engine. Like, he covered yeah, the ground. Engine. Up and down the right hand side, that's when right sided players or left side had to do shifts. And he had a shit right back. Yeah, proper shit. Oh, right. Bro, you man disrespect Neville as well, innit? <laughs> I, don't, I don't rate him. I, was, I, love, I love Gary Neville. He was solid, mate. So yeah, but you don't rate him as a pundit. Him as a it's Mr. Consistency, bro. If he's going to give you a seven every single week, you can't knock that. Yeah, but After 200 games, how the hell are you going to knock that? Team, you can rest your hat like on that. He's the best basic right back I've seen. Yeah, he's but as basic. a right back, yeah, how many he's times? Just this, this, this go through how many times you saw him get rinsed. Oh, Edmundo killed him. Edmundo absolutely rinsed That's him. That's him. Just just Edmundo, go on. Here, over Mars. Over Mars. Over Mars. Yeah. Over Mars. Yeah. Over Mars. Who did he get them two yellows? No, Old Trafford. Over Mars. Over Mars. Old Trafford. Not that game. Is it? They killed him when? But name others, I'm trying to- King Come on, bro, what are you trying to do? That was just my computer game, I saw him. Does that count? But what, what I'm saying is when you say, oh, he's, he's shit or this and that, but try and tell me times you see him get mugged off properly. I don't think he was shit. And, and was during his career, he, he, he improved. You get me? Yeah. Like delivery, rolling with Beckham, he started them deliveries yeah, and hitting them from he late. He never had that from earlier. Like yeah, he, but he in 1999, he wasn't even, like he was injured bare. Where's Brown was coming in bare times that time? Where's, where's, where's was good? And so, I, I don't know, I'm West? trying to figure out other times. But the thing is, we knew when Phil Neville went through a bad spell and he was getting ripped, it was a big story and he got sold by Man United. So for Gary Neville to never go through that phase, he must never have had that period where it was just, he was getting ripped. He's just, just the worst happened. manager ever, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, 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 I vouch for that. <laughs> Dead manager, stay in the, stay in the booth. He knows, he knows where his size is bread's buttered on now. 
Roy Keane doesn't know. Roy Keane still thinks he can be a manager. Roy Keane's waiting. He's waiting for the he right can. job. I, I like Roy Keane. Yeah. I like Roy Keane. Yeah. Maybe in boxing or something. I think it, I, I, I'd rather him be in the, in the studio, man. Yeah, man. It's I like late. him in the I, I don't mind, man. I could watch him anywhere. Yes, I can't lie. I think him being a manager, there's something still there. He can't man. coach the players. He can't coach the players of today. Are you mad? My brother He'll said he's mad. In the My face. brother Adam at Sunderland said he's mad. Yeah, yeah he can't imagine. That's a madness, yeah. What do you mean? If it was my gaffer, I'd probably punch him up. He, when he was not, when he was island manager, he pulled up at a player's door at their house. Was it Waters? Was that what, what, no? no that was in a hotel. Jonathan Waters pulled up on him. No, he pulled up at a player's house. Yeah, but Jonathan Waters on his podcast said that he's, he stuck it on him. Yeah, yeah he yeah. stuck it on working. Yeah. So uh, Waters, that's different yeah. kind of. He turned up at one of the main United players. I can't name his name, but he turned up at one of the main United players. Actually. Yeah, smoked him. He was no, no, no. What, no just no, ready no, to go. Uh, working. What, just ready to have it? Yeah, knocking on the door. Get, was, it out, out. I must say, was it cleverly? Was it cleverly? Why did you say cleverly? Because I heard bear stories about. There's a story about I'm breaking and cleverly. He, he, what it hey, is. He's, he's got some stories that just only he has. <laughs> <laughs> Gary never does that thing where he walks with people for some strange reason and then they tell stories. Oh, that 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 thing. That's a great show, man. He walked with he walked with Harry Kane. Harry oh. Harry Kane said he wanted to play with Kevin De Bruyne. Now, real, real. Has Roy Kane got hands though? I don't know. I've never seen them. Oh, Ooh. see, Duppy know who for frighten. Duppy know who for frighten for real, dog. So I think he boxed in Ireland. Yeah, but he boxed. No, but, but I, think he, I think he's game. Yeah. Like, Robbie King punch man up. Even if he loses, he'll get up. Yeah, I think he's one of them men that like, he just got to like kill him. Was you worried when, when he was beefing Vieira? Be honest. Because Vieira's got hands. No. Has he? You don't know that. He has to have hands. <laughs> the guy's packing. The guy's packing. No, he, he punched that fan at the last oh, yeah, game of the season. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. 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 Got, I, I know, the you guy's know that moment packing. was like. He was like, this is what we were talking about before. We and who was getting chiefed? Who was no, getting no, chiefed? Gary Neville got chiefed that day. Oh, and, 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 and he got the punched. right back, they really. Oh, <laughs> I like him now. No, but but, but, but Patrick picked on. Uh, Gary, why did you pick on Gary? Oh, Patrick hey. picked on w everyone. No, Allow it. Frightened. Arsenal bullied you lot. Lad up. We bullied you lot a couple of times. No, but he punched him in his ribs, bruv, on the way off. That's what <sighs> Gary said. Gary come in and said, oh, he punched me or something like that. <laughs> 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 Gary is <laughs> done! I, 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 Gary. <laughs> Gary is done! No, he did. <laughs> no, 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 no. But he's, he's just saying that. He's, he, he ain't going to react. He's thinking, I've got a game. He's professional. I've got a game. So he come and said, no. Nah. Like, I don't know why he punched w me. I don't know what's going on. For frightened right. man but dead. then he, after... We didn't think nothing of it. Like, big game, getting a tunnel. Remember, this, this tunnel's like, like narrow. This, this tight, yeah, it's tight, 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 tight. So we're walking down there. I forgot about it. I'm thinking game mode. That's it. All of a sudden, I just see Roy just explode, boy. And all, but the feeling that give everyone else is like, let's go. But then, how comes you're losing? It's mad though, because it only kicked in at half time. What do you mean? So at the start of that game, I remember watching that, and I was shook. I was like, they're gonna batter us. Then we're winning two one at half time, and then the second half came. Yeah, Embarrassed. You was um, you was captain at QPR, right? What, how are we coming from? Yeah, no, let's let's whoa, whoa, whoa. let's talk about. Yeah, it. that feels that feels dangerous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, well, let's leave no, that. No. Leave that alone. Leave Some that alone. Meditated business. Leave that alone. That yeah. felt dangerous. You got, you got the, like, the, cue, the cue card come out. I'm trying to like. lead him down a path. Whoa, I like I just it. Early, early, <laughs> early. Wait, what do we speak about after that? Bro, I'm saving drinking here to dash. Watch. Oh, dash is at you. Man, I teleported. He wants bro. to talk about Charlie Austin. No, who was captain at QPR? You, innit? No, no, Clint Hill. Oh my! But, but you, you, you ain't got what Sky, bro. <laughs> you haven't got Sky. Bro. Where are you going anyway? Yeah. No, 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 man read it. Man read it. Yeah, man read it. <laughs> what's like? What's Joey Barton like? <laughs> <laughs> vice captain, by the way, he was vice captain. Joey Barton's vice captain. Yeah, no, Joey was mad as I well. I need to watch like. Premier League years, but man. you need these characters, man. Like I went there. Do you know what QPR? One of the things that stood out for me when I went there was like all my years in the game in the change room, never ever spoke about money. <laughs> no man went like, bro, you're on. It weren't really any conversations. I went QPR. The whole time I'm on this. I'm on sixty grand a week. What am I going training for? And I'm like, man said I'm on sixty grand a week. What am I going training for? Mad talk, like, and I was like, raw. Our QPR's a mess, fam. What am I doing there? And I remember Bobby said to me after about three months, "Real, what you? We used to travel in together in the car. He sat and he started laughing. And I thought, what are you laughing? He said, why are you even here, man? Who said that? Bobby Zamora. Hey, capsule collection, take over QPR, man. That is a fucking mess, brother. That's a mess, brother. Have you ever thought like mid-game, nah, I've got to leave this team? <laughs> well, he's, he's only at one team he'd want to leave. Nah, there's a couple you've played for a couple teams, isn't it? QPR, I did think like at one I point, like, what? yeah, we crashed, he spun me on the halfway line. I was about to say, you got spun one game, now no, then yeah. you said, yeah, it's long. Fuck this, what am I that doing? Team I remember like, when Bellamy spun you, that was mad as well. They bought the Vargas, you. they were playing flipping, they were playing, they were playing FIFA. No one you got three million Vargas on Karim. Right, he's still playing now, you know? Yeah, he's, like, he's over, about- Like where he's from. Tony Fernandez used to watch every I game I said, like where this. he's from, it's mad. <laughs> the man is from like El Salvador or something, you know, it's crazy. No. No, QPR was a mess. What year were you born? 
97. In 1996, Rio broke into the West Ham team. Oh, you're 90, baby. Before you were born. I think you played with one of my coaches. Richard Hall, he, he claims, but he's yeah, a bit yeah, like poet. Centre back. Centre back, yeah, it's true, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He Richard was like, he's centre back. He was centre back. Yeah, yeah. centre back. Yeah, and yeah, then they, they done an operation on the, yeah, on the wrong knee on him. The wow. wrong knee? Huh? Yeah. He says he was meant to be better than you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a myth, he's a myth, he's a myth. Let me tell the story. He's shouting shit. <laughs> no, no. He was stiff, bro. He's a waste man. He was, he was stiff. He was stiff. He's like, oh, I was meant to be better than Rio. And then they done an operation on my on the wrong knee. So he got a mad payout. He, he, couldn't uh, play football. He had the vibe. He had, you know, like the older, older, st- elder statesmen, and like the young ones coming through, and you can see the elder statesmen looking and saying, like, "Where's he going? Why is he coming? Why'd take my yeah. place?" He was one of them type of vibe. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. A little bit like the injury killed him a little bit, but he was stiff. He, he weren't really going to do much more. Steve, than oh, Steve, out of madman. Yeah. Hey, oh, he had yeah. blonde hair as well, Steve. He did, he did, he did. Blonde mate. Why that might have taken that? everything yeah. down now. <laughs> it was my coach at Colchester. Is it? He was a nice guy to be fair to uh, He's a waste, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. But he's, un- he's uncoachable, though. Who oh, is it? Yeah, he beats, yeah, he beats yeah, managers. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't what position did you play? Wasn't there a Center mid, box to box. Is it? Flair, man. He's good, you know. I watched him yesterday. I was impressed. Who you play for? Uh, hashtag United. Okay. Yeah. He's just joined from Enfield Town. I was, I, was, I was a wonder kid. Just like you, I was a wonder kid. <laughs> but I just didn't meet my expectations. I didn't fulfill it. It was too long, I couldn't be us. You see how Akinfeno was joint? Has he taken the armband now? He ain't joint. Why then? Akinfeno ain't joint. He didn't sign. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Huh? I don't, I don't, I, I, I'd rather not speak about it because I don't know what they're doing. Like, I don't know if they're saying, but he hasn't. He hasn't. No, I he don't hasn't. know if they're saying that he has. It. So Actually, they, no, they said he hasn't. They posted yeah, him with a shirt. What happened? He yeah, because he played. He, I confirm I played one game. Me and him's link up was brazy, by I the way. I was wasting time, man. I confirm I said to he, he whispered in my ear, bro. Not a lot. Not a lot. Like, Whoa. Oh. Ying Yang twins. Where, where, where? You could not that? get away from that. <laughs> oh, cool. Let's, let's rephrase that. We had a conversation, an intimate conversation. <laughs> And, and and he said to me, you should have been playing in the league. What league? Huh? What league? <laughs> <laughs> what league? There's, so, there's so many leagues. <laughs> Power league. Se- Serie A Z. <laughs> Serie A Z. <laughs> Serie A Z. He, said, he said to me, I should be playing in the league. I said, I, I, you're right. But, you know, that's how life goes sometimes. Speaking of Akin Femo, though, when Rio was at West Ham, John Hartson was there. Oh! oh. Oi! Ah. Stand, up, stand up, stand up, stand up, man. Stand up, man. Great player. Great player. Arsenal. Well, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> you know, idiot. John Arson. We went through this the other day, I swear. Huh? I don't know him. Yeah, I heard you got hands. Why are you trying to give everyone hands? We get hands. We get hands today. I just want to know who's you on got. It. You need to throw your hands at some people, bro. You're worried about who's got hands. Yeah, but who's you throw your feet. Huh? I throw both, bro. Mortal Kombat. Mixed martial arts. I'm going to tell you something now, yeah, because everybody's missing it. You ain't connecting the dots. It's all about hands, yeah? Because obviously. Rio was going to turn professional. As a boxer. As a boxer. So was I. That's why I sat here. All right. Well, West Ham, 96, 96, just because Frank Lampard, you know, with Frank Lampard, that's two of the best players in English football history that happen to be at the same team at the same time. Who? You and Frank. You, okay, you yeah. and Frank. Yeah, not, not John Hartson and Frank. He's Welsh. Don't tell me Tony Carr. He's one of the best yeah. Welsh players of all time. What? Tony Carr. Tony Carr, is he responsible for all these legends at West Ham? Why are you pointing at me? Oh, so I'm just saying, I'm just asking because... Because Tony Carr, <laughs> to, Tony Carr gave my, my, my coaching badges. Harry Redknapp, more likely. No, well, to, I mean, Tony Carr is, is, is a serious scout. Frank Lampard's nephew. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's related to Frank Lampard, so yeah. And Frank Lampard Sr. was a coach at the club at the time. So it's probably more, that was probably more the pathway. Yeah. But obviously, Frank Lampard, you, uh, there's a lot, you, people are talking about you and it's like, to me, at that age, I hadn't known a young English player that like, had that buzz, that level of, they're gonna make it. You're playing DM, like you say. Frank Lampard's not even, he didn't, I don't think he played as quickly as you did. What was it like being around that team, which by the way, I think they're like 14th and then a 6th, 5th, ninth. like they grew over that two years. What's it like being in that team with you and Frank Lampard who are gonna go on to be two of the most successful players in football history? No, it was um, it was a mad journey because, to be fair, I needed him, and I think he'd probably say he needed me. Like we we helped each other. Like I've said this a few times. Like he would go out and do extra stuff, like doggies and running and stuff like that. And I, I would think I can't allow him to do that and get ahead of me because the manager might see it and then put him in the team or something like that. So I'd go out there and join in, and he'd do the same with me type thing. And we'd done that for time. 
And um, we, it was the, some of the best times of my career, to be fair, like just young kids, like no mad expectations, no pressure, just going out there playing constantly and just like living the dream like mad. Like, so you have to bear in mind, I'm going into West Ham with like all of these big superstars, going away with England early on and then going back to my estate. Mm-hmm. And like, and just taking bags of like clothes and fit like sportswear stuff to just give out. And all my, my brethren just walking around the estate with like England t-shirts on and like, <laughs> like track suits. And it was just mad. And they're just going, and everyone on my estate love football. And they're all like, so what, what's he like? Mm. So what's he, and it's like, I'm just sitting there commentating about like what's going on and just relaying it all. Like it was good West, there's some good West Ham teams you played in. Yeah. Like, all, are all them the same age group, all Carrick <clears throat> and Defoe and all no, that? No, they're, they're younger. younger. So they're it's younger. Frank's the oldest. He's a year older than me in school. Then it was me. Then it was um, Michael Carrick, Joe Cole, same year. Defoe was, I think, a year younger or two years younger. Then my brother and Glenn Johnson type of times. Glenn Johnson might be a bit, bit older, actually. Uh, West all them good mad academy, breeding round, mad breeding yeah. round. And there's, there's enough players that actually didn't make it that probably should have, but like injuries like Izzy Eric Penn um, and other players. But it was just like the, the fact that going in and getting a chance at West Ham the way we did, was mad and there weren't these weren't about. No. So after a game, straight into a nightclub, Sunday all day in a nightclub in a pub or whatever. What uh, nightclub? Say no more. The, the, you know the mad thing is because I was at West Ham, it's East London, isn't it? I'm from South London. So when I went out in South London, Harry and that's never knowing that. Yeah. So like, no one's <laughs> knowing that. World so like, no one can find out. So I could go out. So I lived a mad life when I was young, like raving and stuff like. I don't know, places like, I don't know if you know them, like The Spot and um, Emporium were the two ones in the West End. But like in South London, like uh, early doors was like Laser Drone, which is like more like jungle, jungle jam and breaks. Yes, and Skibbity, then, bless yeah, you and then, um, R.I.P. It was, a, um, and then um, what's the one in Vauxhall? Oh, Coliseum. 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 Come on, best boys. Night, best place, best nightclub in the world. Oh, you was outside. When, when I was Coliseum a Coliseum was the gaff, bro. No, 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 hold on. When you I, didn't go to these places. No, oh, I go, okay, no, cool. When, cool. when I was kid. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped him straight away and said, yo, they not see you Don't let him get you. When I was a kid, it was always like, the night was good. Rio Ferdinand was there. Every every yeah, like Sunday out, you go football and he'd be like Rio is there and he'd be like, everyone be like Rio is it's there. rare in it's London in Manny the footballers are still outside yeah. they're out there you can't you can't miss them they're everywhere they're on the table next right, to I was in we was in yours two nights in a row Hannibal was in there both nights I said no what's that what's that <laughs> you were screwed yeah, you're done you're done you're done you're done <laughs> you're done <laughs> you can't do it and get away with it yeah. like if I went out on a Saturday all night and getting at four and then I'd go training quickly and then be in a, a pub at twelve. Listen, like, I'm, in no the, I'm, I'm in the club and I'm screwing. The girl's like, what's wrong, babe? I'm saying his head's in the wrong place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should have wrapped his, his head's in the wrong place. What's he doing there? <laughs> go home, young man. Yeah, go home, brother. <laughs> That's why, Bob, you should. You could have gone to a jungle rave still because there's still jungle raves right now. For some reason, right, West Ham fans loved Rio. I, that, I get that reason. But Frank Lampard, it was like 50-50. The fans didn't seem to love him. They used to mm. call him fat. He was a late bloomer. But he weren't a late because <clears throat> he was a player and have you Chelsea seen that clip? Have you seen that clip? Yeah. Uh, with with Harry. Harry, yeah, yeah. Wicked clip, yeah. one of the best When clips. the guy's like, oh, why is he playing? You know who that guy is? Who he's is the that? uncle of the boy he's talking about. Oh, there you go then. Oh, look at there that. There you go. Where's that boy? So yeah, like, I was just about Cannon. to ask that. He was a good player, you know? Yeah. But Harry just knew, boy, Houdini knew. He knew. He told him straight, this kid's gonna go to the very top. Literally, did. one of the most successful British players of all time. My Twitter name My was Frank Lampard yeah. Junior Junior. You a Chelsea fan? <coughs> Big time. Is it? Raw. I know, innit? It's mad. Yeah. What, 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 what? F- <laughs> Rio, what was it that threw you off? <laughs> Don't worry, though. Don't worry, man. Lampard's my hero. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you tell you girls your name was Frank? Was you telling girls back then your, your name was Frank? Nah, was Diego. Who <laughs> are <laughs> 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 Diego it is. <laughs> Diego, you know. Diego or Fio. I don't know why, he, he, because his dad was the coach and his uncle was the manager, everyone used to think, oh, he's just getting a squeeze, that's it. But he weren't, he was good enough. But he's literally Chelsea by him. And Ch- that's Chelsea. 11 million, but 11 million, yeah. Oh, nah, he was never shit. Oh, Lampard nah. was cold. You know never what was fun? Shit. I just remember that run, like the campaign, I felt like the national campaign that was going on when it was like, this guy needs to be playing in the England team. Like he needs, he needs to get in, like he was on fire. It was dope still. I felt from the older players, at, in especially in his position at, at West Ham, they, they weren't really on him though. Or they were they were like, they thought that he was getting a squeeze because of his old man and that oh, as well. Yeah. You could sense it. 
Like there was a little, the undertones was there. That's how he felt you kind of as a though. fan at that time. Was that the pressure was never on. But that made him. Yeah. My man's one of the most hardest working, diligent players I ever, ever shared. I've remember. heard he's like super smart as well. Yeah, he went right. private school. Right, there you okay. go. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> You're a good you, you went private school as well, bro. Well, I didn't go private school. That's Miles went private oh, school. Miles went, went private school. Did okay. you go yeah, private yeah. school, Miles? <laughs> I thought you said you went Whitefield, you dick. <laughs> this guy's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm too meant to be repping the ends, bro. I thought I was in the, hey, man, Miles, man. But, um, Rio goes Leeds, 2000. Blunt, no, not Blundhead, that's Man United. But um, that Leeds team- hey, that was a good we team. We talk about it a lot. It's Arsenal today, isn't it? Nah, don't what? do that. In don't terms of age, that. in terms of age. It's young. It's young. Q, Smith, Ian Bridges, Hart. Bridges yeah. Bally. Mills. Wicked team. Mills Wicked is a good player as well, by the way. Danny Mills is a good player. Good Jonathan players. Woodgate, that is a, and Radaby as well. Radaby, yeah. Oh, wait, cool. Lucas Radaby, did he get shot in Africa? Did he get shot? Yeah. Did, did no, he ever show you his bullet? I don't know, bro. Don't Apparently, know. yeah. He's, he's said in the documentary he's been shot. Yeah, good times at Leeds, though. Yeah, it must have been. You know, it was the it was the best for like being carefree. There was no like expectations, and and people don't really take into consideration like when you play in a club. Like London's got bear clubs in it, isn't it? When you go to Leeds, it's one club, one city. One city. Anywhere you go, hero status, looked after. Like go anywhere, and I'm talking like socially, like clubs and stuff. You go anywhere, let in. Go Manchester, you got a city fan on the door. It's gonna be a problem. Do you know what I mean like? But there, everywhere you go, everyone wants to support you. It's good, man. And like we had a young team, always out all together after a Champions League game, all go out together. It was good, man. Good vibes. So you witnessed a 16 year old Milton at the time. What was it? No, you, you come after. after. No, but okay. I wanted the, some of the young mm. players that did come up because Leeds obviously, yeah, Smith's there. Smith. Smith. Smart yeah. jar. Mm, big player. No, that's a blondie ball. There's a generation that comes like uh, just as Rio's leaving. Like Seth, Seth Johnson, Aaron Lennon, Simon Johnson, Harpal Singh, Fraser Richardson, Matthew Kilgallen. It felt like Leeds was gonna do it again. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, what, did you feel that at the club or? No, I, I didn't feel like, cause Aaron Lennon was a bit after as well. James Milner still as well. So it was like, they, you couldn't sit there and go, oh, I can see another batch coming through. Because you have to remember, Alan Smith was, till he got his injury, was a bad player, mm. proper. Like Harry Kuehl. Mad player, that needs Achilles messed him up a little bit. Yeah, that's what Reece Jonathan saying. Woodgate, that like, wicked player, mm -hmm. in the court case and stuff that happened with him, injuries and stuff. So they had a lot of young players coming through. You look at the forward line at Leeds. Just, I was talking to someone about this the other day, and you talk about it compared to today's teams, yeah, Mark outside of top five or six. But Mark Viduka, yeah. Bridges, Cole. Smith, like no, Giroud. Smith, um, Robbie Fowler, Robbie Keane, Ooh. Harry Kuehl. Six, there's six men there that could get into. Every single team outside the top five or six. You, you look yeah. laughed. Yeah. Keane was Keen on Arsenal loan team. from Inter that first six months as well, yeah. They moved to Arsenal a couple of times as the well. The best team to manage in Championship Manager, I'm telling you. Leeds, innit? Uh, yeah, they've done that a couple of times, I remember, bro. Olivier de Court, remember him? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I, remember I see him the other Decourt. day. He's still about. He's, he's doing, um, he does TV in, in France. Same, same game. trim as Mugs. Same yeah, yeah, yeah. Mugs yeah. ain't got a trim though. <laughs> <laughs> Mugs just takes built in, that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing he can do, I know, I know. Too many, he too many headstands. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see me just scanning? Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. I'm like a robot. I looked yeah. down, I was like, he's got his feet out, dry toes now. Nah. He stared at my I hairline. I looked up, looked, I was like, I was like, meaty fade, no. I looked at your hairline, hair I thought, off, you know, I'm like terminating, I'm just, just you don't at get it, it's cool. you have to put it into action though. No, it could be you. Not shoot. It could be you. Pull, pull a gun out, bro. Pull, pull a gun out. Show, show me your, show me your. The cool team, man. Show me your, man. He's got Fabian Barthez's team, man. Show me your, bro. Don't, 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 don't make a scene, real. Show him, show him. Yeah, like me, Michael Jordan, Tupac. No, but it's yours. He tries to say all the legends only, you know. But it's your one because you because you choose to do it like that, or is it? Yeah, it's a fashion thing. What? Because my idols. Yeah, right. So where does your hairline come? All my idols. What? Don't do that. Like when you grow your hair out, where's it? Don't do that. Don't do that. I, Why I, are you I scanning? Saw, what, <laughs> it's on his head, isn't it? It's on his head. His airline's on his head. What do you mean? He's just lying to Rio, like. Don't let them do he's this. He's telling Rio that this is a trim. I'll do this myself, like. So what? Are you are you gonna do that? Like just not even as a, on a, this one. Are you not? You're not going Turkey. Like this is you forever now, yeah. Why would I go Turkey? Unless I'm gonna get my willy done. There's there's a procedure, no. 
No, you, yeah, we was researching, remember? We? Uh, we put him in. <laughs> <laughs> what show have I come on there, bro? <laughs> 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 Dr. Phil. That's it, what show have I come on here? He brought him in. <laughs> he used his computer. All right, come on, boys. Let's get back in the car. All right, listen. So look. <laughs> you got out of the car. <laughs> and you got out of the car. To the convertible, bro. To the roof down. <laughs> So look, as far as teams are concerned, yeah, obviously you played on a great United team, won Champions League and all that. Couple great United teams. Couple. Do you reckon you played on the best United team ever? What, 2008 one? Yeah. That's what you reckon? You reckon mm. it's better than the 99 one? I reckon if we played them, we'd beat them. It'd be a tight Who's game. Who's that, Tevez, but... Rooney, Ronaldo? <sighs> Against Solskjaer Sonam. Yeah, that 99 team though, up, what did bro. we do on the way to the f- on the way to on the way to the Champions League? We done in our uh, Juventus. Good. It's, it's good, but no, the was crazy. Crazy. even in Berg ain't vidic We done in Juve. We done in Juventus. I think in the on, in the FA Cup on the way. To, we done Arsenal, Liverpool. The 99 team. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're the, the, team. the running the running was the teams that they beat was crazy. Yeah, that what they team, actually done. It's different. But the best players probably. The game phone man. I can't remember off the top of my head. That Champions League running up is is crazy. The team that they played. The 08 team was old. Yeah, 08 team. I'm just saying, as I far as our team was, I concerned. think our team would beat them, though. I, I do, but it's all hypothetical, isn't it? but I do really think that we would. I, I, I think everyone would agree. Just full backs and centre backs. That back four doesn't compare. That football, team, football that, ni- team that 99 like. team lost less games than the Invinci- Arsenal's Invincibles, you know? Yeah, but it's they lost no, three games in the league. Did we not compare? No, they lost three, they they lost three oh, games in the league, you know? Lose less, what do you mean? We didn't lose. We didn't lose. Oh, oh. Invincibles, oh, my guy. No. You said it. Oh, there we go. Concentrate. Drop points, whatever. Oh, dro- that might be true. That's that might be true. That's a stupid thing to say. But silly, though. But, it's the same but thing. you've jumped ahead in the future and you've asked now, a really ask, weird question in a weird way. On a, on go on, Luna, please. Team, please. I need to know. Yes. That. Yes. That match where you mm. ended our oh, yeah. unbeaten run, mm. was you instructed to foul us? Was there some kind of... What, what happened, bro? Was that... Did you was it was it at any means necessary situation? Yeah, it was more like I remember the manager saying like you can't have these keep going on this run. You can't have it. You can't let these guys go on and, and like if they if they beat you, they're going to continue doing it and dominate. That was part of the team talk, and also that game especially. And then ever since that game we played with Alex Ferguson was like the talk was get in their face. These lot do not like it. They ain't going to want to fight. You go in there and be hustle bustle get in their face, don't give them time and see how they react. And that was always the case. And then as, as time went on, Arsenal weren't accustomed to dealing with that type of approach more and more and more. You said, you so see, you started you start, it. No, you they started, started it. They definitely started Since then they've been fragile, they soft bellies. Started. You know what it is, at the time, obviously I was young. Yeah, it's just like, emotional, isn't it? I hated it, but look, in the long run. <laughs> man, no, because like, right you like, went still. to like, that like Bolton used to like, Troy Deeney was like tearing you lot up in the, in the, in the public, in the media, yeah. like talking about you Literally. Lot, like, Stoke, could, could not go to Stoke. But we couldn't go anywhere. It turned into, we couldn't go anywhere. That's and what and, and the only reason people talk like that is because they have confidence. Yeah. They know that you, you can't deal with it, so they're going to say it. What's yours? I said, what's yours? So it's you lot now though, isn't it? So it don't matter. No, it's not us now. I know Chief, I suck. It's not us now. Man got Chief. Brother, Hannibal was in the rave. You did it, it just here like, you lot are done, bro. It's over. We got a new gaffer. You get me? It's looking good. Well, new identity. You know, you're, you're in a rebuild, right? Which is positive. Who do you support, by the way? Nobody. He supports no, he's Arsenal. A he's a gooner. He's a gooner. Rio is Arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal hurt oh, his heart okay. so much he doesn't claim a tribe oh, anymore. Yeah, wow. Wow. He supports so, as Henderson. It stands, as it stands, he doesn't support a team. Wow. The last this team he supported story, on record was Arsenal. Rio. Nah, this is, this is, 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 is it for real? He had a Nigeria Carnu shirt. He supports Nigeria. He's Liverpool now, though. I had a Portsmouth Carnu shirt. I support Portsmouth. He supports he when, when Wenger left. He supports Africa. He said, yeah. His last official team is Arsenal. But you're going through a transition now. Did you know you were transitioning 2003, 2004, 2005? Did you know there was a rebuild happening around a Ronaldo, Rooney, that generation? I'll tell you why, yeah, because Remember, do you remember that at the time you should tr- try and get this and put it in the thingy? But it's um, I got seen in a restaurant with Peter Kenyon, who was the chief executive at Chelsea, mm-hmm. with my agent. But I walked in there to see my agent before I was going to a club, mm-hmm. and he said, "Come in." So I, had, I went in. They'd finished their meal. I was having a dessert just to say hello to him. He didn't tell me that Peter Kenyon was there. So I walked in. It was just as phones started coming, and people were start taking pictures of the their world. phones. Yeah. So someone took a picture at the time. I'd love to find this person and then put it in the paper. One second, Rio. One second. So now you've got the opportunity to set this story straight. You're going to try and put it down as coincidence. Bro, this I is... swear down on my life. He said he came for a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> dessert. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You were going to go. You were having... Okay, you weren't going to go, but you had the conversation. You no, no, were speaking. To, I was going to a club, right? 
Into a nightclub. Bro, who has dessert before the club? Bro, you know any, anyone who knows me, yeah? Do your research, bruv. I eat food all day, bruv. And if it's free, I'm there. Yeah, that's right. right. Do your research, but, bro. But so honestly, it's a coincidence. On my life, on my kid's life, I swear down, I didn't know he was there. I walked in and I saw him. But when, he, when I walked in and saw him, I thought, oh, f- shit. But I didn't know. These weren't like, oh, like today. If you walked in somewhere and you weren't meant to be there today, you just say, no, I'm backing out. I'm out. Because you know. Whereas back then, it weren't like that. So I walked in, sat there, just, I must have been there, I swear to you, 20 minutes. Walked out, I went out on my night out. Woke up Sunday morning, or Monday morning, saw the papers, and I remember the press lady, Karen, rang me, Rio, you need to get in early and be in the manager's office as soon as you get in. What do you mean, what for? Have you seen the paper? No. Looked at the paper. Bye. And then you start going into denial. You know when you, denial mode, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but I didn't do nothing. I, I wasn't meant to be there. Yeah. I, I can't answer anything, just go and meet the, go and see the manager. I walked in, I'll never forget when I opened the door, where a man was just sitting there with a paper open like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask and you. And then he just went, exploded. What the fuck is that? Dashed the paper. And I said to him, I, I couldn't even argue. I couldn't even, I just thought, if, I can't even put that case forward. What I just said to you lot. <laughs> yeah. You're bang to rats. Yeah. So, the fucking cake. Yeah. I, I, and, and I said, cause at the time I'd been negotiating for time. Like for about a month. Like negotiations can go either two weeks, a week, if it goes really well, or it could be six months. Mm. Could be a year, yeah? And I was only probably in about a month, like probably a month, six weeks at max. And he was going, well, I said, yeah, but Gaffer, I want to sign. I ain't said I want to leave. If I said I want to leave, I'll tell you. Screaming, 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 screaming. He said, you're a fucking idiot. Just put yourself, He's, he was right. So then anyway, it finished. And then that's when all the fans saw that paper and then all the Man United fans started getting on me, like turning up to my house, like all balaclavered up, like Aye. madness, like crazy, yeah. Take the belly off, Take the belly off, Mark. So <laughs> I went to a game, I remember we played somewhere, I don't know where it was, like in a pre-season game, and I remember there was like, you know, like uh, the tunnel, and then you've got like the, the tunnels there, but it's like a see-through tunnel, like a cage. Yeah. And the man just dashed a beer at me, bro, just threw the, from the thingy from the side, just dashed it, bang, sign your contract. But they were on me, like, but it was, and I was just saying, listen, I'm negotiating, I, I know players that took much longer than me to sign a new deal, but I was just negotiating because I was saying, I want, this is what I want, this is probably my biggest last contract I'm gonna get, so I need to get it right. So we've established that your agent's a liar, mm. and he set you up. You set you up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking back, I think he probably set me up, you know. Probably, that's a good negotiation. Yeah, yeah. That's class, yeah, that's yeah. You've done well. Because they, the nobody, they hated more than Peter Kenyon at that mm. stage. Like, that's, that's smart. Were you close ever to not signing that contract? At that time, Around that time, I think Chelsea were winning, won the league, or Arsenal won the league, and Chelsea, Mourinho had come around that time. And I'm sitting there, and at that moment, I was having offers from other, a few other clubs through my agent. Um, and I was sitting there going, are we going to come back? And I remember Carlos Queiroz and the manager saying to me, Rio, like, we're building a team. Like, you, Van Nistelrooy at the time. Um, obviously, Scolzi was still there. Uh, Rooney's gonna, we're gonna try and get players like, and I said, you know what? If, if it, any other manager than Alex Ferguson, I might have bounced. But someone like him, you can't just leave that, like given his experience, like what he's done. So I just thought, you know what, give, let me, I'm gonna wait and see. And then all of a sudden, pff, a year or two, we just turned it around and then we were just, we were winning. Did you ever look at like Ronaldo and Rooney and just kind of go, they're gonna do it, but that's gonna, it's gonna be a couple of years. Like these kids no, are still a couple no. of years off. Cause Rooney come with a mad hairy chest, everything like a man, bruv. He was like, <laughs> he, he came built ready to go. Like if you remember when Rooney and, and Ronaldo came in the building, bang like that, Rooney was ahead. Yeah, Rooney, Rooney was, was the machine, better, more complete bro. player at that time. But then obviously Cristiano done what he done and then it just kind of just leveled out. And then he went and done like crazy stuff, uh, Ronaldo. But we had two guys, like I, I've said before, you had people in tunnels looking at people like, are they human? I knew it. Like, I knew it. I'm not different. Well, it's in the tunnel that you were yeah, I ain't nah, seen. Nah, I ain't nah. seen. I ain't seen Max that reaction lost, for like Thierry had that yeah. with some players. Like we had two of them yeah. in the same dressing room, and people, yeah, and and they were yeah. kids, and they were, and at that age, them man used to walk out fearless. If you saw the way they were in a change room before the game, they're fucking about all the time. Ah, hiding under the tables really and stuff bro. like that and scaring yeah. people and Proper doing stupidness. Yeah, trying to think of who we got now. That's forwards, man. Forwards, they just have a freedom. Sorry, Rio. This is Miles. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. He's, <laughs> What's that? He's, What's going on, bro? He's got a Twitch that's doing okay. 
<laughs> Check him out. <laughs> Best looking guy on YouTube as well, by the way. Rio's so, on YouTube. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Then you're second. <laughs> 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 does it doesn't change. Oh. Like a lot of young players coming in around that time. One player who I don't know if you ever played with him, but you'd have trained with him, uh, Gerard PK. Did you know being in the same position that he could be one of the best? Ger ever? Gerard PK surpassed anything that anyone at Man United would have thought he could do. Is it? Yeah. It, yeah because good. we were thinking about him as a Premier League player. He played against Bolton, was it a mistake for one of the goals. Mm -hmm. You think to yourself, he's never going to get in again, never going to play. He ain't going to cut it over here. And then you, know, you don't even consider going back to Barcelona because you think he ain't going to make it, he ain't going Barca. Then he goes Barca and he surpasses everything and everyone. He was, he was a joke. A Are you protected player. though at Barca? No. As a defender? Not no. him then, no. You've got, you got the ball all the time. Oh, yeah. when in a, t in a two team go, league at the time, oh, it was, it was ridiculous. Did he go Barca and just start playing straight, straight away? Bro. Yeah. Straight but I'm away. saying, what, when was this? 2006, 07. No, 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 no. It was after because he, oh, he was in he was in the squad for 2008, uh, 2008 when we won it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must have been yeah. like 09 or. Doesn't take nothing away from him, especially in those times as well. Though Sent to that Barcelona has got to be one of the easiest centre back jobs nah, going, bro. no? But you got to. You, if you could, as long as you can play football, and that, no, they got the, it all the time. The stigma, well, they made it like the that. The stigma though. of Barca is even then they can attack, they gonna, can't defend, but they yeah, can't defend. Yeah, even with Poyol and thing, like I, I think playing in Spain, you get protected. You bring anyone over here from any league. They PK get didn't just play with Poyol though. He played with Mascherano. He played with no, but field. like he, 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 he was what's it called though, man? He was like a, um, you got to remember in that team. Everyone's on the front foot. Yeah. So when they lost it, they were like bang. Yeah. So that means that he's on his own one v one. 2v2 sometimes on his own at the back with big space around him and he's slow. Against he technical run. players as well. So out there. you've got to be a good decision maker. You've got to anticipate. You've got to be able to put your body in the right position. So like, I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. Puyol gets a lot of credit, but PK was a bad was player, tough. bro. And Guardiola says, yeah, if you hear Guardiola talk about him, he said he bought him because he was fundamental in the way they were going to play in, in taking the ball from the back. Yeah. Like it's a massive, massive thing, man. Bad player. But I didn't expect it, I'll be honest. Because I remember in training, bruv, Rooney used to give him... Hell, is yeah, it? Like in training, he used to think, right, he's never going to make it, man. Getting bullied up, getting pace, strength, everything, just can't compete. And then fast forward to the Champions League final in Rome, he was bad, he, he, was, he was brilliant on the yeah, day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, That's only like a year or two after. But even in that year. final, we were saying, I was, like, a lot of us were saying, why is the manager playing Waza on the left? When we know every day in training, PK's mind, terrified of him. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. But man, and and Danny Alves didn't play right back. I don't think when Puyol played right back. Right. Do you mean? Oh. I think Torre Which played centre off. Real. What final was harder? The one in, in Wembley or Rome? Bro, they were both beatings. Yeah, they were. Bro, Wembley was the more embarrassing. I remember saying, standing there and just thinking, wow. Didn't get close. Miles off it. Miles off yeah. it. Yeah. Didn't even get cl close to them. That Do you think with retrospect now, you can look at that and kind of be like, there actually is no nothing to be ashamed of being second yeah, best you could at not, that. Yeah, yeah. That. But Fergie thinks way, that if he stuck, he stuck Park on Messi, you lot had a chance of winning that game. Like He, st he still says it to this day. Bro, I don't know if anyone was dealing he with He said that's a mistake he made. He said I, I should have stuck Park on Messi and we might have more of a chance of winning. If Messi doesn't play, we get closer. We probably, probably take the game maybe if Messi don't play, but... Messi's hard. Messi, you can't stop the best. Well, you can't even. You can't do the Arsenal thing. Go and you know, kick him in the back or something. Just we, we were trying, bro. You can't get near them. I remember me and Vidic on the halfway line, looking at each other. I'll never forget it. Looking at each other in our eyes, like, and didn't say one word, but knew what we were thinking. Where are they? But they're, but they're everywhere. Where are they? But they're everywhere. <laughs> No, that wow. match, that match looks That's stressful. crazy, you can't do that in the final. You know, you're looking at your partner, you know, he didn't even speak, but he's like, yeah. understood. Yeah, but that's because of the, the Deep Holy water. Trinity, man. That midfield three mm. fuck teams over, man. Oh, and with Messi six, dropping man. in as well. Yeah. To Everything, four, yeah, five, like five, David Villa, Pedro, what was they? Just, just moving around. It wasn't I hate, a loss. I hate Pedro. It wasn't a loss for my United. I used to even hate them on FIFA, because you know, like, I would put my thing to standard. Mm. And like theirs would like when you see what yeah, theirs is like three yeah, right yeah. backs at left mid like you got to remember as well those two finals yeah them, them two years we won the league mm. yes. yeah and went on holiday for the sea, for the summer depressed both times but like, how can you win the league and be depressed that's the killer for me as well do you know what I mean like, <laughs> yeah that's wild yeah but listen if you're gonna lose to a team you're gonna lose to the best footballing team ever so it is what it is so yeah you know I think you don't feel that at the time though because that's the end of English football's real control over football for another 
Six. It's because yeah, look, Barcelona are doing what they're doing there. United's been firing in them in, even in that time. Like we we've been going hard. You get what I'm trying to say that, but everybody knows Barcelona's kicking dope football. The Prem's the Prem. We're gonna. This is the clash of the two. This is the clash of the titans. Yeah, they killed. You see when that whistle blew, yeah, and you watched. You see that the disparity, yeah, at home. I don't know how you felt on that pitch. You get what I'm trying to say? Because I'm watching. I'm saying this is. But until it started, this is crazy. You thought you was gonna win. Yeah, hundred percent. In Rome, are you crazy? In Rome, we went in as favourites. Yeah. Got smashed up. Wembley, one up, it? and he had like good chances as well. Like, yeah. Ronaldo yeah, had good in, chances in, in Rome. If we finish our chances three 0 yeah, Ronaldo Ron in the first minutes. minute, like he had yeah. a one on one. Yeah. Got but saved. like at Wembley, it was just like bro, it was only it one team even. them times that could really that boss were worried about, and it was us. No, it wasn't. No, it, was. well, it, it wasn't. wasn't. No, it wasn't. Sorry though, but like what you saying though, is that something you could be proud of though? No, you no, you can't like. There's no way you finish a game yet of that magnitude and go like. Yeah, but the best team won that. Like, it's just, you just, you just. No, even there. what about with hindsight after years then? Y- yeah, still, but with a little tinge of bitterness. I've got, I can't help it. Like, because yeah, you was there, innit? You was there yeah, to win. Yeah, and it's against the like, best bro, player. We, we got in, okay. I think we got in three finals in four years yeah. or something like that. Like, and won the league as well. Like, you're seeing bare teams winning the Champions League, don't win the league. Do you know what I mean? Chelsea, yeah. when they won it, they didn't win the league, they didn't get close. Nope. Liverpool, when they won it, didn't win the league. Like it's it's a hard thing to do to do the like back to back like that. It's nuts. What so Alex? What does he switch? What does he be like, boys? It's cool, man. I it hear is what it. Is. But he's got another season to prepare for the second that final was ago. He's got to be ready for next season. Yeah, but do you switch though on your players. If next yeah, but what were you preparing for? The Champions League again or or the league again? Like, what what's he preparing for? I mean, he went to the final again the next the final. year. He wanted he wanted it all, wasn't it? Jordi Anderson. Oh. What's wrong with him? Who? Anderson. 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 Brazilian? Yeah. yeah. I was chatting to him the other day, he's right, he's good. Was, yeah? He's probably Why did he him? stop at like 25? What's, what happened? I heard he was a lazy, lazy No, fighter. no, you know what? He um <clears throat> he had um he had bad injuries with his knee. Before he just before he signed for us, he'd done his cruise shit, innit? He bust his leg, innit? Ooh. Yeah, so like he was like golden boy, like the golden as ball like, that you know, a was a kid. kid. Yeah, like yeah. the best player. Yeah. Like but he was like they said that he was like Ronaldinho the way he played. Facts, I remember that. And then he signed for United, done his knee, and cut, he never got to them heights again. But my, what, he was the Did you wickedest, see it though? Wickedest kid, man. You saw it? Like, gl- it, glimpses of it? Man. Yeah, listen, um, me- remember he had a song? Huh? He had a song at that Old Trafford. No, no, not his oh, song. The fans about, no, about no, for no, him. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, he also had a song. <laughs> no, 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 he had a song, bruv. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, out of, um, in a, it was about two players. It was about Fab, no, no, no. It was about Fabregas. And Gerard, Gerard. Anderson made a song about Fabregas. No, no because oh, oh, was right. the pa- that was the pies. That was on the yeah. pies mixtape. So Anderson oh. God says Fabregas. Yeah. So and, yeah, so Anderson, Anderson done it. Done it. Yeah. He, he played two games against Liverpool and against Arsenal when he first come and was yeah. mad yeah. away. Yeah. Was yeah. mad. Different. And you think, right. and we're thinking, what have we just bought here? This is different. Like, but he never got to them kites consistently. He, every now and again, he put in a performance like that. You, that makes you go, I get why the hype was was mad. But you have to remember, Champions League final, we won on penalties. My man scored a penalty. He did. Teenager. He did. Yeah, oh, oh, that's a big it's penalty. The last time I cried. Facts. Is it? Yeah. I was mad at you, you for that. I thought you cried this week. Did you want him to win? Yeah. Oh, I hate, you don't understand how much. <laughs> Listen, I liked you and... You don't like him, don't say that. I did, I did, I did. Don't say that because he's here, man. I've always repped his thing. I, I say on tri- I say you're better than Maldini and all them man there. Oh, so man can't, yeah, on God, on God, I'm not even trying to shit. On God, I do. Wait, you, you better than Maldini? I think he was. No, I don't know. No, mobility, no, no, mobility, no, um, mobility, man. No, Maldini's, Maldini's a madness. Yeah, yeah. Same conversation. Be honest. It's great to be in that tier. Nah, man, Maldini. I'm Ronald happy just Harlow. to be mentioned, bro. Serious. Nestor. Yeah, yeah, right. Come on, you're up there. But yeah, nah, I hated you lot, man. Yeah, man, man, you, man, Rooney, we wanted you lot to lose. Hated, but when I think about it now, really at the same Arsenal time, well. yeah. But at the same time, we don't want Chelsea to win. Bro, at that point, that was like that was a double-edged sword, boy. That was crazy. I hated man. I hated you, man. Oh, you see, like when you're playing, yeah, and people are having them conversations, like Carl saying, like you're the best centre back in the world, and all that. Yeah, is that just for like the fans and for the media, or do you take it on board? Like when you're playing, do you walk around thinking, like, be I'm real, the, you I'm thought he was better than Maldini. I'm the best in this no, position no, in the I, world. I, I swear down. You thought he was better than him. Every time I got on the pitch and I'm going, I was thinking I'm better than him. Over facts. There. Like, you all, never, all, you all, didn't all, see the video he did with Van Dijk the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on <laughs> Rio Ferdinand. Knows how good Rio Ferdinand was. No, no, but you, I don't, I don't think you can be considered the best. Unless you don't, unless you think it, of course, like, and you have best. to have that energy. Come yeah. on, man! Like if I play today, I swear down with social media the way it was now, I'll be onto people. You'd be arguing. I'll be. You're rubbish. Shut up. Go to bed. <laughs> like you need to sleep before you play me tomorrow. Like I'll be on people because it's like 
I don't know. There's a, and it's, especially if you get to that period in your life where like, I was lucky. I got to a point where I felt there's only like a little window, like maybe two years, three years in your life where you go, I know every time I go out there, there's no one that can do nothing with me. They, that you can't. I've got an answer for everything. You, you Real? Got. Do you think there's a player now in this in this age or this era? Like, like, yeah, no, 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 no. Striker that would give you problems right now. Oh yeah, I think there's the, yeah there there is, but I, Chris I'd Wood. always back myself. Mm. <laughs> 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 Wait, don't laugh at my guy. That's nothing at my guy. Who did you not lap playing against? Do you, do you know what? It, it's it's names you wouldn't expect. Now that's what I that's what, hear that's this what you want to hear like, though, because like, we know yeah. the Henrys and all that. We know those guys. Bobby Zamora. It's like no, it's like um no. Adibayo had one game at Trafford. He was on fire. He was like where he was fast. He was strong. He's running in the channels. Played up front on his own. Um, but I, but consistently, Raul. Raul? Movement, man. That movement. 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 Like, bear, bear in mind, in his team, he's got like Zidane, Figo, like. Safe. Um, safe, who else? safe. Ron Ronaldo. Like all these guys, yeah. But his movement is the one for me that was causing me the maddest problems, like frazzling my mind. And, and I was in that time where I was just got to that playing at that elite level, Champions League. Yeah. So understanding, like, Right, this is another level or two, three, four up from what I'm used to. Yeah, you got a link around. And then all of a sudden, he's asking Steve. me the hardest question what I used to find as a defender. He's a striker that normally plays up against me here, right up against me. They're the ones I like playing. But the moment he starts doing that or going in there, he's saying, Rio, come with me. Come with me. <laughs> if you come with me, look at the hole that's going to be there. And there's mm. Bear Man that just know to run in there. And, and I didn't know how to deal with it. It was so hard. Burkamp was the same. Like, played against Thierry and Burkamp. Burkamp, I used to find harder because you just asked me mad on. questions. Yeah. Thierry was the better player. You hear that Twitter, but you Thierry, pussies. Like, but, but Burkamp... <laughs> <laughs> Talking about goal record and them tingles. Yo, but, no. man. And, I, and, and the third on, one man. that you'll never get is Kevin Davis. That's, that's my kind of... That's my, that's my kind of... That's, that's, that's the kind of squad. Squad. That's that squad. That makes sense. Squad. Hernandez on the head top team. That's your uncle. Yo, no, serious. That's where his hairline was as well. And it weren't receiving. And you know, the ball used to come up, yeah, and my man wasn't even looking at the ball. Just looking at you to just find just where you were to just yeah. try and like, grab you up and I said but it was like a f it was good because he, he never argued if you booted him or dragged him up or whatever and obviously I, I wouldn't do that either so it was a fair fair game but you knew every time you played against him it's graft nah, he's a dog he's a proper dog scratches on your neck and all that stuff yeah bruv after doing nothing I was it playing against Shira Risa said he was like a like a stone wall it was, it was hard playing against Shira that. I think because the team he played against against me like he was playing in Newcastle at the time and we used to slap them all the time. Genius. So he weren't right really, there. he weren't getting enough good ball in the right areas to really cause us the mad problems. Do you know what I mean? So, but listen, Shearer prime time was a, he was mad, Blackburn especially like that year. But like, nah, in terms of being hard for me personally, there was other players. I think I got one, I think I got one. Go on. Craig Bellamy. Yeah, well, <laughs> hold on. Craig Bellamy. Old Trafford. Play, probably played against me, I don't know about, I don't know, eight, ten times? Yeah. And it's the one time you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. That's fact. Yeah. Bellamy! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Seaton, Seaton. Hey, yeah. Bellamy. Yeah. And, and by Just the way, one time. I, 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 I should have been having an operation on my back by then. No time. Oh. But you know Cloud what? Let me just tell you something. One story about him as well, yeah? yeah. He was a good player. He was Bellamy, good right? <laughs> But, yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. But you know what I'm real. Too much explaining, Mario. Give it to him, give it to him. Rio, give it to him. My back was broke. Give it to him, bro. My back was broke. Give it to him, man. Spinal. Spinal. Spinal cord. Power bomb. Spinal cord was smashed up. No, no, I played against him at St. James's, right, before the game. And I remember Shrek Ferguson said to me, um, just as walking off to go into the stadium, he said, Rio, just grab me, Rio. Um, that Bellamy's been talking, been telling Mark Hughes he's gonna destroy you today. And I thought, right, cheeky bastard, went out there and just like, obviously just like dealt with him, whatever. But like, he was that type that would get you like, cause he talked so much in the game. Yeah. I remember we was playing one time, bro, and halfway line, we're smashing up Newcastle when he's on a halfway line going to me, the game's up over there. He's going, how am I playing with this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look, 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 you know what happens at every I, level? I, 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 I do that. I I say, you got to do that. I do that. You got to do that. You're yeah, 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 yeah. seven out of it's ten right, right now. Your team. One of my players. Someone's getting. I hate when it's a front up thing though. Like, no, he was. He was like just like that was natural to him. Like, who are these guys? I'm on the same team as this guy. No, you did it. This on the reset episode. I didn't say who it was, but that's what he said about Charlie Adam when Adam arrived at Liverpool. He went to Gerrard and went, "What the fuck is that?" 
Uh, he just signed. He for was him. right. He made me used to make me laugh. I'll be honest. He Have you ever thought that? When a man, when, a, when you sign a man, and it's like, of you don't course, have to name him. yeah, oh, Bebe. Bebe. Surely someone came and you're like, fuck. Yeah, Bebe was one of them. Allow it, man. What do you mean, allow it? Would real, you say was one of speak for real. Yeah. Don't speak for real. I'm talking for real. I'm just yeah. Bebe. Yeah. <laughs> Bebe. Yeah. He was shit, man. Come on, man. Real. You must have. Thought, no, no, no. Oh, no. Have have you, oh, oh wait, wait. Have you seen Bebe's career? Of oh. course not. Of course not. His, t- his TV's tiny. Ain't seen. I got a 55 inch. Hey. I got hey. a 55 inch. You, you need about? to take that back. Take them comments back. Goo 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 goo. Give us, give us numbers now. Obateng. No, he plays for Rio. He's at Rio Vallecano. Yes, my man knows. See, he scored a big boy free kick. You see that? You see that one? Big boy goal. From being homeless to coming to Man United and having a full career, you bruv. Yeah, big one. Yeah, yeah, but. No, you only, see players go home no, you only just got to Twitch now. You're Pepe, bro. <laughs> you just come to Twitch. <laughs> you, you, yeah, don't yeah, do no, that. He's, he's, he's at Real Vallecano now. He played for Benfica, Pacos de Ferreira. It's a good team. He's done his thing, bro. Real Ave, I don't care what he's done after. Man United, Joe, about, about, about Man United, uh, we were sitting there going like, what, how, how has he got here? Like, it's a madness. It is. Because, exactly. he, because it, uh, he's right in some ways, but oh, the kids have an unbelievable career. Yeah, but who else? You know, just thinking, raw. Cleverson, definitely. No, but Cleverson used to do bits. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Raw. He was decent. When he they he got just him. had head loss. Right? Him and Jemba Jemba, they just had head loss. Oh, Jemba Jemba. Jemba Jemba. Nice guy, man. <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Jemba Jemba. What a guy. You can't say that. You have to speak about him. That's a big bucket. That's a bucket. He's not a man. He said he's a great person. What a man. What a man. What a father! You not a man. He's a, he's a great. He's a good guy. What? He, he oh, went. He went through. He went through some mad stuff. He's, he's a, a great laugh, friend. He's That's a like great when friend. I rap and someone says, "Who made this beat?" Yeah. Oh, my soul. <laughs> <laughs> my soul. No, the maddest thing is when they call. They, the only reason why people get on him, yeah, because when he when he signed you, everyone was saying, "Isaac, oh, like Cantona or something like that." King. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it was like that. That was the only reason why people started going. Well, well that that doesn't reflect when I see him play. Type of thing. Different, but. Yeah, he never, he never done what he, what he come. You still chat to him now? Bellion? <laughs> <laughs> Bellion, yeah, Bellion. Bellion, yeah. Yeah, Bellion. You don't have to just he rub was out cold players. If I went out and threw it he was done. clear, if you didn't make it at Man United in 2008, 9, 10, that didn't make you it. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. The problem nah, is for people not. like that, like Bellion and people like that coming at that time, you got like, I swear Van Nistelrooy was still there. Yeah. Like you got people, Diego Forlan came and fouled at Man United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, be, be, and he became one of the big, biggest strikers in Europe at the time. Did you think about that, about Fletcher when he first came? Oh, no, no, Fletcher's Fletcher. the best. No, no, Fletcher Fletcher was no I'm just like, cause when you, you didn't start up at the, uh, at the best. Yeah, but you was on the work course work, thing, work, man. You saw what he was on. Yeah, yeah, you saw yeah, yeah but I'm just asking, like, you just, the quality, the quality. I'll pick up Darren then, I saw ability from his debut. He made his debut on the right wing. Yeah, yeah, I like Fletcher. 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 No, 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 no. The quality. No, but quality I hated him because he was he, he weren't special, but he just always like helped. Exactly. But I hated that. So that's no, real. Could have looked at him good. and thought, okay. No, I, I, there was. There, I think there were some players in the change room who was thinking, how's he getting in? Thank, thank yeah, boys. There, there was, there was, there was, there was. But did you want DMs like that as a centre back who you could? rely on to just fill that space. Like he said, when Burkamp pulled you in, a DM that was more selfless that would come in and close that gap. I, I, I like holding midfielders or mid, we didn't really play with a proper holding midfielder because there's two in there most of the time, but mm. but I like midfielders who I could control. Yeah. Like, cause I was a I was a tall guy in the team. So I'll be like left, right, up, back, like sh- sh- shuffle right, whatever. But like the ones that don't listen, I would go mad all the time. Like Anderson was funny. Like he wouldn't. He just. He, he couldn't listen. He didn't know like, English. Yeah, he didn't like, know English. Like, it's not fair. Headphones Jember, on. He's like, for, but, but like, he's got AirPods. In. But like, yeah. Like, but like Carrick, yeah. because he knew that he, he he had to trust me that I was telling him the you right saw information. More on the pitch. Yeah. Fletch was the same. Owen Hargreaves, ridiculous. Yeah. Like mad. There was a period for England when Hargreaves was playing. If he didn't play, you knew about it. Bad player. I, we did this about Owen Hargreaves like last year, and I, my thing is, I think Hargreaves would have been. Like one of the best and injuries. If it wasn't for the injuries, he was unreal. And people are arguing with me here. What was the argument? What was well. was he come, what did he do? Champions the season with us. Champions League. I think you know. he would have been a lot better. And I think he would have looked look better in that today's game with more of the, the, the shape yeah, yeah, and yeah. them yeah. thing there. He you was understand? in that transition though. He was in yeah, that. Yeah, I hear that's that. that period I hear that. One thing about Hargreaves though, his accent rattles the hell out of me. Canadian, isn't it? I don't know. But honestly though, when he went to the other side, the elite number, right? What? When he went to sea. Oh, no, nah, because you thought, ah, your leg's bust. He's not playing, yeah. yeah he ain't really going to impact their got team. got one foot. Remember, he put, he put a scouting video on YouTube. But Fletcher was bad, bro. I love Fletcher. Nah. Yeah. He didn't play in the final in Rome. 
I think it was done. Rome because he got he got booked. Yeah. Yeah. And he was, a, or it might have been Wembley, but he was a big reason why we didn't play the way we could play at that time as well, at the intensity, because he was the engine at that point. There's a good generation of young players come through at that time. Johnny Evans, oh, the greatest. This guy loves Danny Johnny Welbeck, the greatest. Hey, I, remember the once, I remember once, I can't, this must Love have been Danny. about Love seven Cleverly. years ago, me and Poet in the West oh, End. <laughs> Simo. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's me, Danny Simpson. Me, me and Poet in the West Craig End, Craig Cathcart. Right? And Arsenal are linked with Johnny Evans. Poet's telling me, oh, fucking Johnny Evans. Nah, said, we should have bought him in. Johnny, Johnny you Evans needed him then. The guy. You needed at that him. point, and then Poet, at, before he went, Poet stop. texts Rio and said, Rio should also get Johnny Evans. And Rio's like, should have got him when he left Man United. That's who you should have got. That's always stuck with me. We got Mustafi, bro. Should have been playing up to probably a year or two ago at United still now. I hear that. 100%. He still I hear that. 100%. makes Leicester better than all that every time, other All that time during Oli and all that. We could have done with you. Are you crazy? You don't know Bulbo. You don't know Bulbo. You don't know Bulbo. You said for Man United. That's cool. For Man United. Yes, I agree. So, no, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? He said he's been shit for Leicester. Wait, 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 wait. So, 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 who's your support? Arsenal. So, so, we, so your Arsenal Mustafi, players are better than him over that period of time. Mustafi. Um, well, are, are they better? Are they, are they better than what he would give? He's who better gives than better? Now, bro. Yes also, or no? Also. But Mouth over that period of time. Over that time. Over that time. Miles, yes or no? But is that Leicester? He's a bad boy at Leicester. What are you talking about? I told you. He was a bad boy at Man United. He was all right at Man United. I what? prefer him at Leicester. So he's not good enough for your Arsenal team, but he's cool for his... No. So in his time when he left Man United... I was looking for a season or two. Uh, we, do we have do we had thing at the time? Um, it doesn't Hush. matter. We had... We had when Kishelny. 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 and who? From we got to Leicester... I'm not a sucker. That was a good part of the ship at one point. And he looked good. We should have grabbed him, bro. It's as simple as that, bro. No, you should have took him. No, he's not. Oh, you know you know, Man City wanted him. You know Man when he left... When he went to West Brom, Man City wanted him. That's when you should have took him from West okay, Brom. Okay, cool. Evans. Yeah, mm, maybe then. Evans yes. is better than Koscielny, it, it bro. Was West Brom. It no. was when he it, went uh, West Brom. No, 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 when he was flying was, was, yeah, was proper. Was guy, but yeah. he got, he had loads there, of there was a period that Koscielny was arguably the best centre-back in the league. Bro. Okay, next Arsenal. question. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, he's, he's what are you talking about? Koscielny's never been the best centre-back in the league. In the league? Koscielny's never been the best centre-back in the league. Matt five, you sit back. What do you mean, Simbi? There was a there was a there was a point in his life. Not them best. Not them best. There was a point in his career. Let's get let's get excuse from before you go. <laughs> I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Uh, there, was was season, there was one season, though, Rio. There was one season he was with no, like a one? demon. I think he was top. Yeah, he was up there. Yeah, he could, one season he could have been top five. But there's another player that comes up in at you, Franks, uh, when you're uh, in the main night team, Danny Welbeck. Again, Ooh, I've best. always liked him, though. I loved him. I just, loved him. Always just loved wanted him. to say his Who, name. Daniel Mensah. I thought you were going to say Chris Eagles. You don't like Daniel Mensah. He won't like Mensah. He's gone in and Jamaica. He celebrated, he celebrated when, he's, when he's gone for the Gunners and all that. Oh, he, when he, he took it round, he, he took it round the He overdone it. After that, that I never I'm not going to begrudge Welbeck for going to Arsenal. None of that, ever, because it's Danny in it. But when he come when he come and celebrate like that, I was like, ah. He had to, man. You lot was acting up. you're done to me. Yeah, but you can't do that because Van Persie scored against us and celebrated the hell out of it. Van Persie's an Arsenal legend. Fucking respect him, bro. No, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> Massive <laughs> fucking respect him. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> is it true um, Welbeck scored, yeah, and me mugged the crowd and then Fergie said, what are you doing that for? And then dropped him like next game. No, I don't know that one. Huh? Sounds like Fergie. Uh, Specs, don't ever tell me that again. What? <laughs> Specs, don't ever tell me that again. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Wolves is nice, man. Nice guy. Good guy. We got like a WhatsApp group, innit? Like, and he's in it. Anderson's in it. There's loads of <gasps> Oh, raw. That's legendary. Oh, my God. Who else, please? Who else? Who else is who in else? there? Who else? Who else? Who else? Evra. He leaves all the time. Oh, like, that's when he gets that's skipped, he leaves. That's <laughs> Evra, Evra yeah. is That's because you're always on him, though. Huh? That's because yeah, he's always him, doing always. foolishness, though. He's always doing foolishness. Mama's eating like raw chicken. He yeah, got yeah, sent yeah, out. Come yeah, out of the group. Yeah. Come out. Delete. Yeah, Quickly. big up Evra, Delete. man. <laughs> big up Evra, we're eating raw chicken. <laughs> Evra, Welbeck, Rio, Anderson. The, two, the, the silver twins. Oh. Is it? Oh, is it? Um, they made our uh, draft the other day. Fletch, Carrick. That's a serious group. Um, That's a serious group. Lindegaard. This is where the information's getting dropped. Lingard. Lingard. No, Lindegaard. 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 Lindegard. 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 The goalkeeper. Lindegaard. Lindegard. Lindegard. He can't get into that club. Oh, what about Kieran? Kieran in there? Kieran Richardson? Yeah, he no, should no, be in no. there. He can't get in there. He's northern. He can't get in there. He came in there. He came in and come out. You know what? I've got real. You don't talk in that chat. 
What do you mean? Yeah, I don't think he's a group admin. He's a group admin. Who's kicking that out? Group I admin run things, brother, in that group. Trust me. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, but there's some. It's mad in that. It's mad in there. There's only been two academy players I've rated for Man United. Yeah, Who? That's Welbeck and I like Rashford. I like Rashford. Yeah, I like Rashford. The only That's the only two. Ever rated. Well, who can? Who? Why does it matter what you rate? They're my personal. Rashford's my dog. One second, one second, one second. So in the United, no, 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 no. You shout you. Focus on that one. Oh, you, you don't understand what man saying, bro. bro. Man saying he likes them as a person, person. bro. Yeah. I never like. Uh, obviously, I rated ten oh, as, as a person. Yeah, as a person, well, I, like I, him, I rate those oh, as, a, as a people. Like, obviously, okay, I rated okay. your good players, Tevez, Ronaldo. But I hate and these guys. And yeah, but I, but, I, but I rate them. I, but I like, like them. Him. I got time. He only scored against us, them two goals, and I was like, this kid, yo. Yeah, you wanted him at Arsenal, didn't you? Yeah, I still want him at Arsenal. I'll take him. I said it Do as well. Do you think the players today hate each other like that? Like, like, nah. Like, we used to, like, I, I never used to like a lot of players. Like, yes. On your team. Who? On your yes. team. No, 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 on other teams. Like, I never hey, used to like you, It's cool now. Who? Gerard. I fuck Gerard. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> no, no, but I'm I didn't. a great player, but I fuck didn't, like, I, didn't, I didn't like them, like, Gerard. Hippier. No, nah, Hippia was alright. No, 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 Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. I, I've seen you two going back and forth on the TV. One bridge, yeah. And now he's got to beg, now he's got to beg it because his son's a baller. Like no, him. listen. That's a good guy. I see. I can't remember what game it was. Yeah, but at one point, yeah, I'm in the yard. I'm saying, hey, this is gonna. I like, really you need to stay professional because you are going at it. I said, no, they, no, were just, he, he, they were just, they were just jabs, he, jabs, yeah. jabs. You got some on your skin. Yeah, because he he tries to lie. But when we're on the on the we played at Old Trafford and he ran past me and he barged me at half time for no reason, like proper, like when you go like your next all bus, you go. So I run down the tunnel, jumped on him, ba 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 ba, whatever. He was like, "Robbie, you know, don't even try and lie." <laughs> and then, and then, and then, Alan Smith come out of nowhere, and I, I think Alan Smith must have hated him as well and given him a couple of kicks. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, he denies it and tries Smith's to tell a, a different story. But that's why. But he's, but me and him are cool now. He's really, he's really, ahead really of his good time, guy. by the way, as a pundit. He's, he's funny. He's funny though. He's good. Yeah, he's, no, good. So he's good. good. He's good. Actually, Mad research. Mad Mad research. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's good. Stuff. But he's um yeah I, di I didn't like there was I'm trying to think of who else company I didn't like most players no, I, di I, di I respected company didn't really weren't ever gonna be my mate yeah I don't I think it's now, but when I, I'm nah, you weren't really anyone's bridging on the other no. team I hear that Jermaine Defoe I remember he said something to me which I didn't think about until he said it he said really like I come every time like when we we're away with England or we, whatever when we were younger we always chat and get jokes where we but I see you in a tunnel you don't even chat to me don't even look at me I try and chat to you just blank war me war is war but I said bro I swear I just I can't that's there's what's a, wrong with today Jermaine you know? there's a reason you that's, don't that's have why titles they're shit. and he does it's because no, he didn't want to chat that's why Arsenal are shit Frax changing shirts at half yeah, time bro, them man there all the youngest all the young bucks we're down at half time when I'm talking about oh how's your children what the fuck is kids yeah, right yeah. now, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about? Find out about I'm not gonna lie, yeah. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that can enhance the Prem right now. Yeah, if there's yeah, some yeah, yeah. some no, real hate, animosity, hate, some hate, hate some animosity you'll see, between you'll players see and that. Certain players, you'll see that they're good. They're quality. When there's a bit of negativity, like, yeah, 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 yeah. some yeah. raise I'm their level. Man, is that? Yeah, yeah. it, it ain't coming. When we play yeah. between VAR. The, the way that yeah, the, it's the a non -contact social system media, media yeah. everything. But we spoke about social media before, and I said this before, like, it's because they're all connected now. Yeah, it's all, like, all like he's friends with him now, so that means that he's kind of my friend. I don't want to mess up the relationship. Yeah, so, yeah. But so it's no like what one you're saying. They're doing that, but they haven't even met each other, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You get me? They just follow each other. They're not even friends. But it ain't their fault. This is society. Yeah, it's society. It's, it's also why UK raps shit. But at the same time, it's, it's a positive though, because look what the England camp is doing now. They've got to like the semi finals, they've got to the finals. But back in the day, was that, was, was that some, what some was wrong with the England Yeah, exactly. Before? Some of you lot were segregated. Nah, but the 02 England team, the best ever England team in my lifetime, they were the second best team in the world. Yeah, the cool. team they lost to is the Brazil. Brazil, it's Brazil. So it's like, and yeah, but was your cohesion like the way how it is now? Them, no way, yeah. You think that was the best England team? 100%. Right, <laughs> team, when Livy does that face, yeah. <laughs> Sing, 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 yeah. Claire, Sinclair and Mills are there because of injury, but you look at Ashley Cole, Riffa, Nan, Sol Campbell, David Seaman, so Stephen Gerrard, Paul like, Scholes. I, I was that black you. Like, because we, we, we was allowed to watch that match, innit? I was only year four when that happened. Nigeria. I, yeah, not um, against Brazil. And everyone around me was crying when Brazil won. I was just like... <laughs> I felt like I was Brazilian inside. Yeah, but Brazil, that's how good Brazil were. Yeah, exactly. I thought I fought more Brazilian than English at that Brazil's point. the only team that anyone could support. And yeah, no, I, I no, I no one looks your way. In Brazil. But you look at that Brazil team, they were the oh, players, the name miss. brands on that team. Carlos, Cafu. Rivaldo. Rivaldo the front three of Rivaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. Safe, man. Gilberto Silva. Gilberto Silva, Silva in midfield. Emerson. They were a bad team. Who's that? Dunga. Lucio. Yeah, Lucio. Is it Dida in goal? 
but no, but I don't know. Like it's different now, I, and and I don't like hate the players for it the way it is now. I just think it's just part of society. It's, it's too nice, man. It's really nice. It's too bland. I I want to see like. I know he hates him and if, if them two have any friction in the game it's probably gonna the game's gonna go off yeah. and it just changes the dynamics of the game it I don't happen like that no I more I think it'll happen soon though man surely <laughs> someone's <coughs> someone's gonna hate a man and be popular for it is this why you're not a gaffer and though? the youth then will follow suit because you might someone say this you, I don't think you could be a manager now nah, because like you, the way you have to talk to the players you have to talk to them in a way that isn't like as confrontational you have to nurture them yeah like a social worker and like like in that's not just my son, bro. Yeah, you can't. I can't. I can't even. You know what I mean? You're on him. You move like company <clears throat> in that clip. With We've all noticed. It, it, if you if you know anything about American sports, you know, we've noticed the changes heading towards that, right? Like even yourself and Gary Neville and the, the the good top level pundits, they talk more in a way that we understand than the previous generation of pundits. The players are behaving more like NBA players. They're all best friends. They've all they all share girlfriends. They all it's all like that weird like NBA like kind Nail, of thing Nail going varnish. on. They all go to the same clubs. We'll all go on holiday together in the summer. All that sturdy. stuff. Got shit trims as well. But and eventually, clothes. I'd imagine fake jewels. It will it will start falling out. I reckon these players will start. We need competitive. That's what I get. That's what I'm thinking because obviously they're doing the pally pally thing. So the fallouts are going to be there's going to be public as well almost. Man, maybe bro. well maybe not public, but you'll notice the difference. There's going to be there's going to be a man from one of them Rooney families, bro, and his dad ain't having that, bro. But not even just that. I see like Harvey Elliott, and I think that kid's going to piss people off just the way he plays. I see Phil Foden. Yeah, because he's bro, he's so dynamic. He's explosive. He takes players on. I love yeah. him. And his mouth, he talks and all that stuff. And I think not to put anything on Harvey Elliott, I think he's unbelievable. But I think there's a generation of players that aren't just friendly, friendly, talented ballers because there's they've got to compete for their place and the, the, the standards higher. I think there is another like generation of. You need a Patrick Beverly. We were I'm, speaking about him before. You need yeah. like that 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 NBA player come out. He's playing now. And he done a couple of interviews, like calling out a few people, saying he ain't as good as people are talking about, like to ruffle a few feathers. Yeah, but you call someone's name, That's they go crazy. Kind of play, Look, they went, man. they went mad the other day because, um, because Grealish was saying that um, my man got dragged because he was playing like Almeron. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that yeah, though. Yeah, see, I, like I that. love that. I like it. Man said he's moving True. like Miguel these players, Almeron. These players are like, like mercenaries that. now. They, 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 like, they follow the money. It's not really who. Like, there's, foreign, there's foreign. Name in, them. Who? <laughs> Do you want me to name one? There's one that's Ronaldo. He's gone everywhere <laughs> right now. He's looking like. <laughs> <laughs> for the money. For the money. Yeah. <laughs> for the money. Yeah, he's not for the money. No, it's just like he he's took not a caring. To come he's not caring. Like he was on his way to City, not caring. Then United got him. <clears throat> then he's, he's about like, to do He, he do don't mind. He's about to do the Obin. Where you go? If you want me, I'll come. Fuck it. I don't care about it. But he went Man United and took a mad wage cut. You know that. Yeah, but I'm saying. Like he has to. He had to have a mad wage cut. Oh, he was on like a billion pounds a week. Like. But what I'm saying is the players now, like the contracts, everyone's running their contracts down. That's the like thing. The, 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 that's the, 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 the that's theory, the fit, think? like how play, how football's being played is changing. Like, like the it. players are caring about the players now. It's good for the players. It's smart. But Somebody's it's man. smart, man. And, Somebody's and, man. And, and, if they want to get the big moves and get the big money, run down your contract, man. Because they'll get the big money. If they want to get the moves, they've got to run it down. They'll be but you know bonkers what? to sign. So, okay, so if like it was you, if it was you, yeah, if it was you now, yeah. And you've got an opportunity to go to a next podcast, right? And they're saying to you, right, you've got two years on this contract now here. What are you gonna do? I'm yeah? gone. I, wait, 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 but, but there's a risk, yeah? Nice, that baby. you could lose your voice at any point. There's a real risk. Mm -hmm. A genuine risk that you could lose your, and then all of a sudden I'll the podcast there. business is done for you. But there's a, there's, a, there's a check here, there's a bag here waiting for you if you stay, or you're gonna go wait, wait that time and risk it, and there's a bigger, little bit more of a bigger bag over there. That's called, what are you gonna do? That's called the Harry Kane paradox. But and that's why Harry Kane signs a new contract every 18 months. No, but and I, they give him 10 mil. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have the bollocks but to sit and wait for a free transfer. You I also injured, had Sir Alex, it's different. No, like, it these lot it's got, not about him. No, it's it's more you. about like me saying no, that I'm not risking. You, you are you though, fam. So you <laughs> knew you was cold, innit? Certain man is a whole different like... It depends what your ambition is. Did yeah. Saka just sign his new contract? The Saka yeah, signed it. Yeah, he yeah, signed it. it yeah. If Saka signs it, how, how, he, do, he, he don't get out of Arsenal. Leave. Yeah, you're he right. He doesn't you're get right. out. Of course he does get out. Of course he does. Of course, course he does. What are you talking much about? Money? Okay, no, no, listen. Say we sign him. Put it this way. Say we, say we sign him on a five year, like we just done Eddie and Ketty, yeah? Bro, do you know how much money you're going to have to give us to get him? Yeah, but the clubs are doing that on purpose now. We, we gave Giroud the extra deal before we sold him. Like, we do it. That's, again, even two years ago is a different era than yeah, today. Yes, it's, it's two. If Declan, Declan re's up and signs a contract yeah, now, he's, was never, it, leaving. he's never leaving. He's never What's leaving. it going to take to get him? Declan Rice can't re-sign. 
Yeah, who if he wants to go. If he wants yeah, to go. If he wants to stay. If he wants to go. No, but, but, if Saka but what wants I'm saying, go. though, is, is that he don't have to re-sign. He, if they know that the club, they can't let him get down to 80 months. Otherwise, he goes on a free. Yeah. West Ham can't let him go on a free. That's so either right. he's going to sell with two years to go or that he's going to have to re-up and sign again. But how is everyone still getting to the final year now? It's only yeah, the top, 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 bro. top yeah, players top who really, a lot of the time, unless you're like, say, for instance, Lingard ain't been playing. Still a, a, a top player, right? But he's not been playing, so he's been able to run that contract down. But the top, top player, like Sol Campbell, I know it's a different era, but he's only been able to do that and still get the value that he needs to get because he's still a fundamental part of that Spurs team. Like, they watching, can't afford We, we just lost Rudiger play. now, yeah? Now, nah, we've been trying to get him. Yeah, he has to play because if he don't play, you're shit. Yeah, exactly. They're playing, they're playing but, left So the back. good ones, it works for. The shit ones get that. They dashed. played Rudiger left back. No, the, 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 the ones who ain't at the top and top of the game are running the risk of, of the manager going, right, I can bring someone else in and play instead of you. So your value then drops again. You're going to go on a free, but... As good but as for Rudiger the top is, players, if you could take his Chelsea career into like totality, he was very replaceable. Who? So Rudiger. We need That's why at the beginning. Him. Contracts don't mean nothing, man. Saka on that Alaba said he's not bro. playing. Who? Signing to Alaba, death Alaba, 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 what's his name? Yeah, 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 yeah. He said he's not playing left back. He said he's not playing left back. I'm playing centre back or centre mid. Like, Rudiger played left back last game he was played. He does, and uh, Alaba said he's not playing there. He said he's not doing it. Who cares about what Rudiger's doing in Spain, man? Blowing. I'd be screwed. I was going to ask you. Why you, why, what's, what's this grin, bro? What's this? Well, I can't smile. You, bro, you smile. Ah, uh, you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're going Santorini. Remember, you're going Santorini. Who? You. Who's my man? Go on. <laughs> go on, you're gone. <laughs> I helped make half your career, man. Where were you when you knew uh, Van Persie's coming? Why are you asking that? Yeah. What's that about? Why is that relevant? Because I want to know. I don't even know, you know. You don't know. I, I know that. The, 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 the mad thing is with them type of signs, that's what I'm saying. Even them little subplots in the season, in the league, yeah, we're taking their best player. Were you gassed? I know yes. where I was. But, you know but was I didn't know he was going to be as good as he was. Did you know that was Sir Alex's last season? No. Not did he. He wouldn't have come if he knew it was He Alex. knew, he man. No, if it was Alex Sir Alex's last season and he knew, he wouldn't come. None of you knew anything. I clocked that. Because he said... <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen. Because he, well, he said... Was no, to no, 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 Tigo, let me laugh. Because he said... Remember, Van Persie said, saves this interview... And you said Oli's at the will. And since then, bro, no, it's no, been don't change, the year, don't change the years. No, no, no. no what, what happened, we could talk is, about is, any of these When years, he came, bro. yeah, we came. We, all, all of us were gassed because we're taking Arsenal's best player. Yeah, arguably, right? And then same with Berbatov when he come and Carrick when they come. We're taking best players from them teams. But when he signed, yeah, I remember a few of us looking at each other after a couple of months like, rah, I didn't know he was this good. I knew he was good, but he never played that well against us. This is... Different level. Oh, we go quickly. Wait, hold on. So, rude or RVP? And yeah. think, think, think about, about it. Be honest. Think about it. Be honest. Argument. Hey, be honest. The fact he thought about it. Yeah. He knows RVP. It's RVP. He knows it's RVP. Why? 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 why, 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 why you went like this. You went like this. No. Whoa. It's proper hard to say stuff like this, Jack. Because you can't. You never played against Steve. I'm not. I'm not answering for him. I'm just giving you my opinion because them things is not hard. RVP. Are you trying to you, bro? RVP. RVP is one of the coldest players to ever put on a United shirt. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? Are you saying it's a clean cut? I'm not, saying, I'm not saying it's King Kong, I'm saying it's not, a, it's not crazy, like, it's, it's, it's in the conversation. Saying, Rio, who, who, who is better? Rio, what the hell was that? Yeah, you're not saying anything, you're just doing a bunch of nothing. What are you no, doing? Go on. I have to say, yeah, for me. Um, Van Nistelrooy <sighs> go on. was the coldest finisher I've ever played with. Maddest Bagsman, Maddest Bagsman. That, no, the bro. Maddest Bagsman Finish I've ever played with. Finish up, finish up, but... but if I was going to take a player for the overall all-round oh, package, Van Robin, Persie comes. Robin. All day. Yeah. All day. All day. Ball Man, you know why? Back. Why are you not happy? Because yeah, the ball goes into Van Persie. Yeah. <laughs> and it still on, happy. It's so dumb. Did you see that first season? Why, why, why dumb? Bro. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. He's one of the coldest players to play for us. And it's for Man United. It's both for Man Both Van Persie's Man United. overrated. He's overrated, bro. You don't know. But put your glasses back on, man. Concentrate. All right. Well, look, we've we've taken enough of Rio's time now. Rio, just quickly, where are Man United finishing in the league this year? Fourth. And Pardon? Do you, Say and that do you again? be happy with that? Ask him that again. Ask him that again, Tigo. I asked him. I like clearly. With, with clarity. With where, clarity. Where, where are Ask you finishing me. this season? We're finishing fourth. You're oh, finishing oh, sixth. Come on, bro. That's why, That's why he was sub. That's why he was sub. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? I bet you become higher than you this season. No, you're not. Why he was I bet you. What do you mean? I think you even got a comeback because they used to. I was sub as well, but. Fourth. But you know what? With Man United. 
Fourth. If we, even if, say that like we don't finish like fourth, if we finish, we'd be disappointed. But if I see progression in terms of uh, like an identity, the way they play, oh, etc. So you're following Arsenal's blueprint well. then. It's what? the Arsenal blueprint. Have you then? been doing that for 10, 15 years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I want. Oh, they quick. went backwards. They went very far backwards in terms of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think you got a chance this year? Of course. Time? Yeah, we could. You come, saw us last season. Come, you saw what we're building on now. You think you finished above Spurs? That's what I, I was going to say. Can, yeah. I think no, can. I don't think so. The fact that they're in the Champions League, we're not. I think. I think. So wait a minute, Rio. Does that you, mean you Europa, think Thursday, the Sunday, fourth, the fourth place that's going to go is I Chelsea's? Hear that, I hear that. Yeah. I think Chelsea come out of the top four. Yes. And Man United jump in there. Dan? Nah, bro. That's crazy. That's Why? actually crazy. crazy. Dan, you crazy. might not finish. Because oh, you like did a little top four nil. Score. We had Bet Swaye up top. What about old what about what about Stamford Bridge? What about oh, Stamford Bridge? Bridge the other day? At the end of the season. What about it? What do you mean what, what about? Do you mean, what about? We've been in third since like October. You think we're looking at you lot? Oh. We didn't if it care what, for Palace. We were the finish above until you, the end of the season. Until the end of the season. But all in I'm hearing is this: Chelsea, we're coming for you. Yeah, like we, 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 we did do that. We Chelsea, did. we're coming. We for had didn't even make top four. We if we never had injuries, we'd have done it, bro. If we had a striker, we would have done it. We've been, we was third from October all the way through. Bro, we weren't caring because of us fucking up. You remain there, bro. You do it every year. There's no if, buts, and maybe's, bro. The season's done. It is what it is. You know what is. I can only I can only present what's in front of me, and I was a Champions League winner just last year. What's in front of <laughs> <laughs> and you almost never qualify for the competition. Oh. I don't know, like I don't know what you it's want different. from me. Like, I'm, the, I'm the most successful club don't in the worry. last twenty years. Don't worry, we're, we're winning the Emirates Cup anyway. I'm just still trying to work out. That. I'm just trying to work out why Rio still think. What, what makes you think fourth though? I don't understand what you seeing. What are you seeing? No Chelsea being shit. No, I'm mad here. No, I'm it makes mad. sense. I do something then. There, it's not crazy to, for him to think they'll finish above us. I don't think they will, but that's come on, bro. Yeah, but what? what You're is talking like you, man, are like yeah, miles like, away. Like, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Five yard yeah. passing from now. Basics. It's a long season ahead. Don't waste everyone's energy on arguing about who's going to finish fourth now. That's a bad argument, man. I fuck Gerard. <laughs> That's my favourite part of the show. Yeah, 100. I don't know if he feels that now, do you, Rio? I do. No, no. 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 I do. <laughs> no, no. Where did West Ham finish? I Villa. West Ham, seventh. Ooh, that's all right. That would be good. I had sixth. Win, win, win yeah. the Conference League. I want that Skamaka to do shit. I wanted him. Feelfit5.com. Thank you, Rio Ferdinand, for coming on this stupid show. Yeah, when are you going to get a couple of you, man, on, on the shows, on, on five? Like, I keep coming here, you, man, ain't coming. It's going to cost. <laughs> <laughs>